What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another PGA 2K23 course showcase video. And today we're diving into the brand new course, The Sand Set Above by the great designer, Innovator9383. But many of you may know this designer by the name of Brave Caleb. So Brave Caleb has designed so many exceptional courses and it has been a long time since we've had a brand new course from Brave Caleb. I feel like it's been over six months. So big thank you to Caleb for creating another excellent golf course. It is just stunning and I'm so pumped to showcase this one to you all today. As always, get on out there in game, play this course and let me know how you shoot in a comment down below. Let's see who can get the best score on the channel. So for this round of golf, we're going to be playing for the back tees, pin location number one, medium wind speeds, all the rest default conditions. And there's sand everywhere, as you would expect from the name. So be careful out there. But my goal is to hit over 75% of fairway stay. I'm going to set that goal. You can go ahead and make your fairway prediction goals. It is time. If you all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And I have a full playlist of all my course showcases for PGA 2K23 listed in the description below and plenty other content you can tune into on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. But Brave Caleb has designed so many beautiful environments. He's such an amazing designer. And here we go. Let's go ahead and start this flyover here. But I love the way that Caleb planted this golf course. The bunkers, the different, the different textures used the, the color aesthetics for the planting the trees the fairway the rough it just all fits together just beautifully so let's start this fly over here we're gonna find a lot of sand today uh, don't worry ryan gamer brought his he brought his beach clothes just in case he needs them <laughs> but i just love this environment the way that caleb crafted this kind of with the rock mount the, the rock mountain all that just a mountain rock mountain on the right side of the course here and on the left side of the course with the golf course right in the middle there but it just looks so beautiful from the aerial view could you all imagine how long it took to place all those bunkers and to plant this golf course because i know you can't see from above you can't see all the all the bushes and other textures used in the bunkers you can't see that from this aerial view but if we go down just like you saw on the first tee you're going to see a lot of planting in the bunkers as well. I could not imagine how long it took Caleb to craft this beautiful golf course. Wow. Caleb did it again, everybody. He's back at it. And another thing I was really impressed about is the attention to detail with the different stairs, I guess. you. Would, yeah, these are stairs. But I wouldn't want to walk these stairs. But Caleb was nice enough to put walking spots for everybody on a lot of the golf holes like you see it on almost every single golf hole it looks kind of dangerous to walk but at least it's there for you and he gave you handrails too which is nice <laughs> you love to see it and what a beautiful clubhouse but yeah i'm blown away with the environments that caleb creates and i like to do a detailed fly over there so you all can see that everything from the aerial view there so here you have it from the up high view Caleb, thank you for the hard work, you legend. It's great to see you back designing. Thank you for the hard work. And I'm here to crush this golf course. I'm ready. And you all know, when a designer puts a par three on the first hole, it is customary for me to dedicate an ace on the first hole. You know, don't ask me in a comment how many dedicated aces I've had on hole one par threes. Don't worry about it. 205, downhill 11 feet, hellwind at our back. Caleb, wherever you are out there on the World Wide Web, this one's for you, buddy. Come on, give us a kick to the right. Great tempo. All that going differently in my mind. Well, if you all are wondering what happens on first oh, shot, par okay. three okay. dedications, we'll green, that usually shot. happens. A miss green and regulation. Green side, that one's for you, Caleb. <laughs> Oh my. You all weren't expecting anything less. Almost a dedicated nice chip in birdie, but chip, just nice and easy. every designer's well favorite, the two point yeah, par dedication. Par. One's for you, Caleb. And you're at even par. I need some coffee. Get your coffee, everybody. Cheers. 
So right before this video today, right, well, right before when I recorded this video, so this video is going live on Monday, uh, Monday, January, what date is that? That would be Monday, January 8th. So right before this round, I played the impossible challenge attempt number 32. So uh, my swing should be good. I don't want to give away, or tip number 33, tip number 33. I don't want to give away anything. But Swing was dialed in, and wow, if you're not watching that series, get on out there and watch it. Uh, but I say that, say that our Swing should be good right now. I'm also wore out. The Impossible Challenge wears me out. Look at that view. Look at that view. The planting is just incredible. The backdrop. But yeah, the Impossible Challenge wears me out, so if I'm wore out... That's why, but I do. I did just make an espresso, an extra espresso to put in here, and I already had an espresso earlier before the impossible challenge video. So yeah, we'll have that. We've got about 130 yards to go here. I did not make a New Year's resolution to drink less coffee, though. So I'll never make that mistake. 131 yards, uphill 20 feet. <laughs> what? What was your Ryan? What was your New Year's resolution? Uh, play more video games. Yeah, that's that's number one. <laughs> Everybody tells you, yeah, but it work out. But try to cut out, cut out as much coffee, cut out pop. You know, here's me. I, I should have played a little bit more video games last year. <laughs> Send this in the hole, Ryan. We have fun here, don't we? We have a lot of fun here. I am energized now because that impossible challenge round got me a little fired up. So it also wears me down, but that's what happens. Nice approach. 32 this feet. Is a 32 left fire. to right, then right to left. Get in. Yeah, I crushed it right by. again. I, okay, next week. This one's eight feet away. My goal, or this week, January 8th, week of January 8th, I'm going to hit the range. I'm going to practice putting. I'm gonna practice chipping. I'm gonna practice splash Just shots tracking. until we hit perfect power 99% well of the time. I've been overhitting way too many shots across all the videos on the channel. It's just that's gonna keep you at even par. I don't know. Maybe I'm losing Let's some of my reflexes. This one goes par three. I don't like to say that, but you never know. But hey, this the planting is amazing here. Wow. Caleb is such a great designer. I don't know how he does it. We have a nice little funnel here towards the hole. I'm going to bounce this on the left and send it right at the hole. The wind's going to blow it to the left. Or just go right at it. That Looks works like too. One has eyes for the green. That's a really good shot. If I hit that on plane, we're going to be in great shape. There we go. Nice little approach shot. Oh, nine footer action here. Steady right to left. Looking good. Yes, come on. Hey, one under through the first three holes. Plenty of scoring opportunities. We have a couple of par fives left. Yeah, That's that one, another thing down, that I love about this golf par. course. It's not a we long golf course. Right on, on it's a hole. very scorable golf course. It's fun, but it's also a very technical golf course. You have to really hit the fairways and pick your spots. Because if you don't, well, trouble. Now, this is what I've been thinking about. And what I've been thinking about is send this. I know you all are getting worried. It's like, Ryan, you can't even hit the, hit the fairway when it's right in front of you. Well, that hurts if you said that or thought that. But, I see an opportunity here. And that opportunity is to aim here through those trees. I see a gap. If I hit this low in this wind, this is the way. You're telling me that I can't hit a wide open fairway, but I can hit full, almost full de-lofted drive with forward spin to perfection underneath the tree. That was good stuff. <laughs> that just shows all me right, we don't get creative enough. At about 200 yards away. Are you all thinking what I'm thinking? Hole number four, I know it's, I don't really want to use up two shot dedications, but we kind of have to. This is very albatrossable. 
It's a real word, trust me. Look it up. When, look, well, look it up in the Ryan Gamer Dictionary. If you can find one. It's, it's a limited edition. They're hard to find. Very rare dictionary. 199 yards. Uphill 10 feet. Full sin. This one's for you, Caleb. Little too much to the right. Something about shot dedications. I get so nervous when I go to swing the club. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Okay, third shot. Yeah, I want to perform for these great designers, but like... Wow, we could still chip in an eagle. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I tried that swing plane. It's That's really intentional. Feet. For a dedicated birdie. We had a par already. Get a birdie for three points. Good so far. Five points on the showcase nice, already nice through four holes. There. That's your second birdie in a row. Back to back birdies. Thanks for calling in the birdie tray. Here's everybody. And after that hole, you'll go down to two. Ryan holes. has a smile on his face. You know, Ryan did not have a smile on his face on during the impossible five. challenge round. The virtual athlete, you all see him smile a lot in these showcase videos. He doesn't always smile in the impossible challenge video. Another par five here. We're going to send it up here. Puppy? Puppy. Yeah, did you all hear the puppy? He was whining because she wants Kelsey, the bigger dog, to play with her. And Kelsey is just sitting there snoozing. <laughs> so I'm going to hit this drive and then play with the puppy a little bit. The puppy, Andy, will be like, no, I didn't want to play with you, Ryan. I wanted to play with Kelsey. I wanted to play with the dog. I didn't want to play with you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well done. All right. Um, we're what a golf about, shot. I'd say 240, 245 to the pin. Great design. Two great par fives in a row. Let's go. All right, let's do this. I'm going to do a partial three wood. Why not? A little off to backspin. It's a beautiful golf course, though. Get up, ball. Get up, ball. Get up. Oh. Come back down. Gamer ability sculpting stamp of approval right there, everybody. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is our what third a golf shot. shot. Can we make this chip shot, though? A little nine-yard chip shot. Now, chip shots have been a real struggle for me lately, so hopefully that changes today. That would have been a perfect time for the eagle hole out, right? Ooh, <laughs> yeah, I've been really struggling nice on chip, chip shots recently. For the birdie. Somebody's first time watching my one of my videos. Yeah, I'm really struggling on chip shots. Just send it in. Yeah, I'm sure you are, Ryan. <laughs> Those right, of you that have watched my next. recent videos of the last two weeks, you know that. that. Your score down three birdies in a row. Let's go. And a heads up this hole. We got a tailwind blowing with the ball. Just look at this. 212 yard golf hole here. Beautiful view. What a golf course. What a golf course. Okay. Not one of my favorite golf holes being a par three like this. Now that is interesting. Look at that green. What in the world is going on here? Oh, oh, I see the path to an ace. Off this right side, roll it all the way here, up this slope, down into the hole. All right, thanks for giving us that that vision. Caleb, send this in. Caleb gave Ryan the caddy book for the week. Maybe a member's bounce to the left. Roll all the way down, please. Don't you stop, ball. Don't you stop. It's going to stop. Wow. Good nice. shot, though. Well, I wouldn't say good shot. The if you can sink this right here. Very service, serviceable golf shot. Looking really good. I As soon as John said looking really good, I knew it was a miss. Good try on that one. I knew it was a miss, John. And Don't spoil it for us. Par.
Okay, let's see what you can the do. Puppy here on the puppy is wired up right now. We just went out and played here a little bit ago when I paused the video, right? Played, played. It looked like she, I got her down to take a nap, you know, put her down for a nap, cuddled her, cuddled her a little bit, and then now she's just woke up and wired up. So I'm, I'm gonna play with her a bit more. But what a view. Are you kidding me? You talk about a postcard moment. Like, this is gorgeous. It, like, the, f the way the fog is in the background, the mountain peak right there to the left. Easy postcard screenshot moment. Like, look at this. Wow. Definitely taking a screenshot here. That's the, the view of the day so far. Wow. Take a couple screenshots. And let's see if we can get another Albi. <laughs> get another Albi. Okay. Okay, settle down, Ryan. Let's see if we can get an Albi. Oh, wait. Did you all not... Did you all miss the Albi? Oh, yeah. It, it, a couple part fives in a row. Don't rewind it. It definitely happened. Yeah. You know what they say, the birdie is the, the new Albi? Okay, Moving on. 215 yards or so. Okay, now that backdrop is dangerous. I see what you did there, Caleb. I see what you did there. Dangerous. I'm not afraid. We've already used two shot dedications. Approach I was going to use one there. Right. Good thing I didn't. Something about our approach into par fives. We want to slow it to the right. This one's your third. Ride Gamer used up all his energy in the impossible challenge. Slowed it. it, it worked out fine. Pulled it a all little right, bit a as well. Left to do here. Nice shot. You can make birdie this here. Is nine feet away. Steady left to right on this nine footer. This one's on a good line. Pushed it, pulled it big time. Speaking of New Year's resolutions, do you all make New Year's resolutions? On that one. Like, do you make all right this one for par? Like big time ones. I know some people make like big time ones. Like, I, I I'm like, well, that seems impossible. But I love the enthusiasm. I like to make my goals very attainable. You know, like oh good. okay, I need That's to in there beat more par. games in my backlog, right? <laughs> What, Ryan, what's your, what's your, so you said play more video games. What do you mean by that? Well, I have a lot of big backlog of games. I need to play more. Right? So I kind of, I try to keep my goals very attainable. Okay. Eighth hole. Ooh, look up. at this backboard. 135 yards, uphill 42. You have a backboard here. That'd be really cool to get a backboard ace. I would just take any type of ace, to be honest. Kind of a blind golf hole. Like you don't you don't see the golf the green at all. Kind of wish that green was a little bit higher so you can actually see the green. That should it's, do it's a blind par three. You don't see a lot of blind par three golf shots. Here. Fifteen feet uphill, one inch, steady right to left birdie chance. It could be a good one. Oh, That's that so mean. So I guess brave Caleb forgot top. to get out there and put the magnets in the golf hole. And there we go. Can't complain there, it's close. Well, we right can't there. complain because it missed, Absolutely. right? Under par. Here we have a par four hole. Look at that clubhouse. That is gorgeous. What a view. 465 yard par four to close out the front nine. Very fun front. A lot of scorable par fives. A lot of missable fairways too. And also a lot of aceable oh, par threes. Uh, off track. Well, that's is that light rough, I think? That. All right, let's have a good second shot sand. here on the ninth. Oh. I thought we rode into the rough, but 74, 85% light. That's not bad. I'm going to go three hybrid, loft it. I think this gets up and over. I think. And it did. Wow. I'll be honest with you all. I didn't really think that that was going to get up and over, but I really wanted to hit the hybrid. What a golf shot, though. Great work out of the bunker. You got it's 16 a yards. Fair amount of distance on that, too. Uphill one foot, steady left to right. It's got to hold. It's got to hold. It's got to hold. What a shot. And this one for par. 
We'll take a par. Let's Never gonna complain going. about that, especially with nice the tee shot that we had. Three under on the front could have been a lot better because it's a very scorable golf course, but still good. We're under par. And that'll keep you at three under. Maybe we could birdie out on the and back. And you're teeing up on a par five. Wait, is yeah. there a trick shot? Well, <laughs> there's a trick shot, but the trick shot puts you in the sand. So I don't know if that's ideal. Let's just send it into the fairway. As if it's that simple, right? That is my type of fairway, though. It is massive. Now, everything funnels right to left there. If you put that ball close to the road, and now you're in here, trouble. looking like about 230 yards. Another Albi opportunity. 229 yards away. I'm going three hybrid over power, funnel funneling it from the left side of the green to the right. Drop it one time, everybody. We need this. It's a good swing. Is it going to move? The right. It needs to hop and roll a big time. Yeah, it's not it. Needed a partial three wood. He'll go to five under for the round if you sink this. I did hit it right where I said I wanted to, but I clearly was wrong in my calculations. 52 feet, steady downhill, steady left to right. That could be in. That could be the one. Looking super. Ouch, right by the hole. Oh, ever so close to pulling down that eagle. Never can complain about a tap in Bernie, right? But what a putt. Are you kidding me? That thing almost dropped. Let's wow. Let's keep this going. That's your fourth birdie of the Celebrate day. that with some coffee. There. Get your coffee, whatever you're Bringing drinking. Cheers, everybody. Four under after that one. And here comes a par three for us. Beautiful par three. Beautiful par three. 135 yards, downhill 27 feet. Send it in. Just hit, hit a straight swing plane this time, right? It's not what I meant, but bounce right. Bounce right. These screens are slow, so you're not going to get a lot of rollback. Hold that thought. Nice it's like, done. it's like the course was listening to me. To the hole. Like, oh, I'll give you a little bit more this time. 13 feet downhill two, steady left to right. Ah, oh, man, rushed it. Story of my putting right, career pass. recently. Looking good. Well, that's going right by the hole, isn't it? That's the story of the uh, putting career as well. Lip outs. Okay, just a few more inches to go. Well, what happened there was I was anticipating an overswing, right? Because that's what I've been doing. Then we underswung it a little bit. Well, low side, lip out. That's a painful bogey. And tapping in for bogey on this one. That was a three that putt bogey. And we had a under par. very realistic birdie chance. And this one's clocking in at a par four. So mean. 496 yard par four. Pretty open fairway. I'm an expert in missing pretty open fairways. That's one of my, you know how if Ryan Gamer was actually like they went and made my golf game in a video game as an AI, right? That was a good one. You know how they have perks? They are about 195 yards out from One here. of Ryan Gamer's perks would be misses wide open fairways. Or when fairways are wide open, what would be a good name for that? Fairway misser? <laughs> fairway misser would be the perk. How many of you all would play with Ryan Gamer when, as a fairway misser, his perfect region is like this small? Just off the tee. <laughs> Ryan Gamer in, in a golf game coming in the future. Imagine. This could come back. Not this could. This is coming back. Please go in the hole. It's got a roll to the right, though. What a beautiful shot. There you go. That's what you Ryan want. Ryan hitting us with the fist pump. Here's a nine-foot putt. Nine feet. Steady left to right. This one's tracking. 
Yes. Out a Hold that one right in. Did y'all see that swing like plan? See. Tried to do that. And right a little now, birdie bogey birdie stretch there. Here we go now. That is such a fun 13. golf course. Beautiful view there at that backdrop. Definitely taking a screenshot there. That's beautiful. I think we full send this one. Long par four, but I want to get to that other fairway. Please get a good bounce. That should be perfect. Hold? I mean, are you kidding me? That is a pitcher-perfect drive. Second shot on the Great sculpting from Brave Caleb on that one. Thank you for that. A lofted backspin. Send it. It's got to come back. It's got to come back. Come on, ball. Come on, ball. Please? Please don't stop right there. Little play. We just stop at Here a yellow slope for birdie. You hate to see it. How does that ball stop there? It's 138 green speeds. That, that that's a very like. Usually that rolls down. I guess I didn't put enough backspin on it. Wow. If if that was Central Park AG, for the Impossible Challenge, you all know very well where that ball was going. Oh, Good try. Great buy. Good try. We seven almost conquered a tough par four there at the great tee shot. So far, so good. Great second shot, almost. Good stroke in the hole for a par. Five holes remaining. Couple par threes, a par five to and close it out. Keep you at four under par. I'm gonna go loft and Best backspin. Getting it close on this one. On this left slope. We've been slowing every drive, and of course we hit that one perfect. Get to the right. Get to the I right. was anticipating a slow. Good shot, though. And that'll do. Grab your putter. And Ryan was fired up. Did you see that? Up it wasn't a fist, a high fist pump. It's like a low fist pump. Me seven feet uphill, four inches, steady left to right here. Get there. Yes, oh, yeah. it's another I'll one. It. Magnets it. are engaged now. Thank you for that, brave Caleb. That's two under on the back. We did have a bogey, but. What a, what a back nine so far. Really a good round overall. Could, could have been a lot better. Bring a very scorable course. Par. Okay, wind's picking now, up a bit. We got a headwind this on is this interesting. one. I see a gap. Are you all thinking what I'm thinking? There's no out of bounds here. A little loft draw. That shot got a little bushy. Oh, swing plan and slow. Hit the rock. Well, I tried to no do good. that. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're all thinking. Well, you tried to do what? that, Ryan. That's a brave strategy to hit that rock and think it's going to bounce to the fairway. Not every decision is a good decision. No. I was yeah. trying to send good it. I think I drew it a bit too much. And that swing plan and slow <laughs> combined together led to that. But great lie. Good thing Caleb put light rough everywhere. Uh, this one's going through some brush. Did we hit that bush? No shot. We hit that bush. That's safe. Safe. You'll Thanks, go to John. Six under today if He's not this. wrong, though. I'll, I'll give John that one. That was a safe shot. The worst thing is when you hit it like right next to the hole, and John's Looking like, that's really a safe good. shot. Oh, you like what that a putt. one, don't you? I did not expect to birdie that golf hole. Honestly, this is Ryan Gamber's type of course. When you miss the fairway, you're either in the sand or the light roughed. There's no heavy rough that I've Man, seen. You can stick this one close. What a gift. 205, uphill 10 feet. You know, another blind par 3, but you wonder if it's part of the name. The sand set above. You wonder if that's the theme of the par threes to have blind. Oh, you can see a part of the green on the left. You just can't see the flag. Now, the question here, though, is that tree in play? It is, right? 
I think we have to fade this ball. No, trust Caleb. Caleb would never trick us. Caleb would not trick us here. Yeah, I told you we didn't technically hit the tree. That tree is very much in play. Wow, that is a tough golf hole. Okay, we're on the green. 43 feet uphill, Setting one up foot. Setting up with a extremely long putt. That is a tough par three. Put that tree there. Oh, come on, get in. Oh, just kidding. Tree's oh, perfect. Fancy, uh, golf hole's perfect. There. Good work. Everything's perfect. And right Ryan, now, who are you waving at? Under for the day. We're waving at dog? Oh, well, no, you're waving at the people on YouTube. You know you're live. Hole. I don't see any fans on the course. What a beautiful view, though. I can't believe we just made that putt. I cannot believe we just made that. That was fantastic. I'm going to take that screenshot there. 408 yard par 4. Beauty of a swing there. Beauty of a swing there. Thanks, John. That's called the diagonal swing plane that leads to a perfect. They cancel each other out, right? I've been uh, tilting the controller a little bit at times when I start seeing my... It, it helps oh, a little bit, but... Second shot here on the 17th. I've tried that for a long time, and <laughs> it helps sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't do a thing. slow it just trying to flop that with full backspin the problem is putting that much shot shaping at it eight under par is waiting you miss you little you it's gonna be a putt. big miss but with the way we're putting these are very makeable greens 27 feet uphill five inches right to left and left to right brushed it oh skipped right over the edge hit it too hard we had the line and seven feet to the cup Ryan, I think it's just too strong from his NHL 24 career. I think he lifted too much, too many weights to get into the NHL, and now he just crushes every putt, chip shot, and splash shot in golf. He lost his touch. After that hole. And let's start to wind things down here as we tee this up on the. Y'all did not know this about Ryan Gamer. He's fierce out there in NHL 24. I typically post a new video in that series on Saturdays, and he is leading the NHL in hits. So this is a right to left shot shaping opportunity. We'll draw. But that series has been a blast. He drew it right Pretty into the sand. Sure we're heading to the bunker here. Yeah, but such a fun golf course. Okay, let's get out of here. Caleb's back at it again. You love to see it. Let's go loft and backspin on this three wood. Oh, that's not getting out. Good try. No. Nothing's getting over this thing. Gotta hit the lob wedge. Nothing you could do when you hit it in that spot. With that bunker lip being that high, you're not gonna loft anything into it. Okay, we're back in that the can get there. Good job. You have a shot dedication third left, right? shot. All right, Caleb. This eagle hole house for you. Shots, uh, coming That's really good. We finally like have a green and regulation dedication. <laughs> Seems like we know we had a, good we had a green and regulation shot, earlier, right? All right, here we go. Four it was the Albi we missed the green on. And then we got the next one on. So we, we missed the under green and regulation. We got the green and regulation. And this birdie is for the great designer, Brave Caleb. He's back at it again. The battle to an eight under par. This putt's good so far. Eight points dedicated All this right, showcase. The putt drops and, uh, Look at that, that back nine. I bet one of you all is going to shoot like 18 under on that golf course. 15 under, 14 under. But did we hit 75% of fairways? That's the question many of you all have been wondering. You all made your predictions on fairways? Oh! 72 does that round up to yeah 72 plus three is 75 so yeah where some of you are like where'd you get that three from don't worry about it there's a three in that 72.73 <laughs> so we hit under 75 i hit 72.73 i cut it close one more fairway is all we needed 
88 greens though that's really good but it's a very very scoreable course a, a, a course where you should have high greens and regulation did not putt great 1.5 putts per hole 62 though eight under on the day as we take a look at the scorecard that's a three under in the front with no bogeys we did have a bogey on 11 on the back but then had a great finish between 12 and 18 that's a five under on the back three under on the front eight under on the scorecard what a golf course that's an easy favorite that's an easy five star very greatly designed brave caleb thank you for all the fun golf holes too ace bowl par threes albatrossable par fives that's my type of golf course everybody but thank you all for watching this video to the end if you got some enjoyment drop a like it really helps the channel subscribe for more and stay tuned to the gamer ability youtube channel for new videos every single day Check the channel page after this. You're likely to find another video or video series that you enjoy on the channel. Tons of other content to tune into. And I have even more on my second channel, Gamer Ability 2. Link in the description to that. You can check it out on the channel page or just find it in the description below. I will see you in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.